And what's up? We're playing Wasteland 3. And I just spoke to the dog. He's not gonna join me. Yet? Maybe. Make sure you take care of that bike when you get to it. That rust trap? Why? Because this was Jimmy Longhall's first car. When it gave up the ghost in the Hey, Jimmy. Glad to see you're okay. Dorsey's didn't get this far? Nah, they didn't bother with us. They were after folks wearing badges like yours. I would have shot those Dorsey's dead if they'd walked in my garage. <laughs> Haven't seen your friends before. If you folks are looking for help with your vehicle, you've come to the right place. This is the Colorado Springs Arapaho Station. We got stations all over Colorado, mostly for fixing and supplying our own fleet. But we fix vehicles and sell parts to anybody. I'm the manager, Jimmy Longhall. That's my crew over there. You need any repairs or alterations to your ride, they're the ones who will put it all together. Best crew in the business. Yeah? Oh, that's Doc Parker. He needed a place to set up his clinic, and we had the space, so... Good thing, too. Those Dorseys hurt a lot of people with that little raid of theirs. We brought as many as we could in here, and Doc's been patching them up as fast as he can. Guy's Only still got two hands, though. The best in Colorado Springs, no lie. He was the Patriarch's personal physician for a while. Took care of all the hoity-toits in Broadmoor Heights, too. Kind of pissed us off at the time, actually. Nice Arapaho boy taking care of the hemorrhoids of the hundred families and turning his back on his own people. Came home in the end, though. Remembered who he was and set up his clinic here. Been serving the working people of Colorado Springs ever since. Co-workers, not employees. I only give the orders because I take the orders, get me? Anyway, Fastback's the old one. Been with the station almost as long as I have. Ranch, the tall fella, thinks he's a heartbreaker, but he's the most sentimental sap you'll ever meet. And Pacer's our newest recruit. Don't mess with her. She's ten pounds of attitude in a five-pound bag. At the moment? Yeah, I guess so. Driving and wrenching has kind of become the Arapaho brand. We pride ourselves on being the best mechanics and couriers in the West. Well, except for those of us who run the stations, we mostly live on the road. The people of the convoy, some folks call us. And we've turned that way of life into a business. Arapaho service stations, Iron Thunder logistics, Arapaho caravan protection, and so on. I'm just guessing, and I'm sorry if this is rude. I think they're a group of, or like a clan of Indian, Native American Indians. While other folks were eating each other in the suburbs or fighting over mansions in Broadmoor Heights, we kept to the wildlands and didn't come back until civilization had reestablished itself. And when we came back, we came with services people needed. Transportation, protection, and repair. Been living well ever since. Sure we do, if they're good enough. Takes a lot of skills to be better than an Arapaho, though. Mm, okay. Anything for your vehicle. Have a look.
I'm thinking of joining the next supply run. See how some of my experiments will hold up in the field. That crew would be lucky to have you. Well, we'll see. Hopefully, nothing will go wrong. This is an accessory. Priority for now. Because this was Jimmy Longhall's first car. When it gave up the ghost in the plains, he salvaged what he could, turned it into this monster you see before you. All because he couldn't bear to be separated from his machine. That's dedication for you. Also to get out of the plains. Y'all forgot that part. What can I do for you? Nothing yet mentions Take my care now. car or truck, whatever. Let's hope you got another career. Hold on, just gotta finish this tweak. Can't wait to get back on the road. A little bit of spit, a little bit of shine, a lot of prayer. <laughs> this station is nice enough, but convoy life is better. Next week. Get out. Give myself some alone time. Okay, not much to talk about. Can't wait to get back on the road. Um, nope. Yeah, I guess that's it for Whoever this guy is, um, the the Arapahos. yeah. Still nothing about the car or upgrades. That mechanics plus one is tempting, but it's not a priority. So, hmm. Yeah, let's do more in this video. Talk to you. You got business with Mama Carter? Ha! No, you don't. Come back when you do. Until then, scram. Y'all seem nice, but if you got business with the Carters, you should talk to Mama. Okay, I guess the only thing that's really left is talk to the sheriff. There's something I can do. Sheriff is this way. Gonna run back. Actually, let's go here. By order of the Patriarch, only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. An invitation from the head of a family or authorization from the Patriarch. Until you have that, the gate stays closed. Mm, okay. Uh, the attack on the city has everyone nervous. Until that's all settled down, Patriarch's orders are in effect. Authorized business only. Rodmore Heights and the Patriarch's Palace. Good day. Right, I guess that's closed. One final check in this corner. I think that's going outside. You got business with McTavish? Come into the machine shop. If not, then fuck off. Nope. Mom? Mom? Oh, I. Sorry. Never mind. W 
What? Why? What do you want? Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna end it here. It's a lot in this town, so we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.